Good morning. I am running late. Is that a surprise to anybody? It shouldn't be. Um, I'm freaking exhausted because uh, last night I was studying with Jessica and Trey at Starbucks. Came home. Everything was fine. Around like midnight-ish, I started getting shooting pains in my left arm from like below my shoulder it started and then it went like down to like my wrist and it kind of felt like I got like a shot in my shoulder and then the pain would just like shoot down my arm and I also had like a tight chest and like chest pains and like my ribs kind of hurt and I get like chest pains and my ribs hurt sometimes because I have anxiety and like I get a tight chest and I can't breathe but I never really had this like arm pain this like shooting pain in my arm so I was a little freaked out and I did the dumb thing to do and I looked up symptoms and it said call a doctor you're about to have a heart attack boy and I was like oh shit so I was like looking at different websites and it's like yeah these are signs of an oncoming silent heart attack in women these are deadly killers like if you get these symptoms if you have shooting pain in your left arm and you have chest tightness both of those together you're about to have a heart attack and die girl and I was like Fuck. so um I start freaking out of course because uh, I have anxiety and I'm also just a naturally uh, uh, anxious person so I went to talk to my mom uh, I woke her up and I was like hey like I think I'm about to have a heart attack and I told her what was going on she's like go away Casey I'm trying to sleep you're fine you're fine you're fine you're not gonna have a heart attack you're fine and I was like ah so <laughs> went to my room and started freaking out even more and I had a really bad anxiety attack probably actually I would say one of my worst anxiety attacks ever um i was like majorly hyperventilating i literally could not breathe and i was crying and freaking out and like i started hyperventilating so bad to the point like and freaking out to the point where i was screaming and it was like 12 30 at night i was screaming so finally my mom decided to come and talk to me and uh, she was like, Casey, like, you're literally going to be fine. You're 19 years old. You're not going to have a heart attack. I literally sound like a baby. I'm sorry, but I have anxiety, okay? And my mom was like, you're 19. You're not going to have a heart attack, blah, blah, blah. And then I just um, had a mild panic attack for the rest of the night until I my symptoms kind of calmed down a little bit. And then I finally fell asleep by like 2 30 3 o'clock in the morning and i got up this morning at 7 so i'm tired okay i'm tired and um I, i'm running late for school but i don't care because i still need to get coffee because i am tired if i don't get coffee this morning i'm already grumpy i don't know if you can tell you probably can tell but i'm grumpy and I need coffee because if I go to school like this, like this right now, and I don't get coffee, I'm gonna blow a casket, okay? Like, I am not happy. So, I'm gonna get coffee to mellow myself out. I have to go into Kroger. I literally have to get out of my car and go to Kroger. I know, first world problems. But I can't go through the Starbucks drive through because they charge me more than stupid Kroger. So I'm gonna go in Kroger and it's gonna take me like 15 minutes to get my stupid coffee. Then I have to drive a half hour to school and I'm gonna be 15 minutes late because I'm already running late. And oh my God, my day sucks so far. But it's fine because after school, me and Jessica are going to the North Market, which if you don't live in Columbus, Ohio, you don't know what that is probably, but it's basically this place where they have a ton of like food stations inside where like, why is there so much traffic? Where like they have like different food stations, like they have around the world kind of stuff. And then they also just have random stuff like 
I like to get, they have this pasta place that I like to go to that has gluten-free pasta and I get um, Alfredo pasta and it's really good. And they also have bubble tea in there. They have all sorts of junk. I don't know, I don't know if they have this anywhere else except for, I don't, I don't know if you have this where you are, but we have it. So we're going to it because it's like 10 minutes away from my school and then Jessica is like 10 minutes away the other way. So like we just meet in the middle. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes any sense, but yeah, I'm getting pasta after school. So um, it's kind of keeping me going, but also I'm not really, it's not really keeping me going. So I will talk to you after I get my coffee. So I don't fucking keep blabbering on and just being, sounding like a dickhead. Oh yeah, and I don't even have to bleep out these words because stupid YouTube demonetized my whole channel. So... I'm gonna bleep all that out, but <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. That was a giant waste of my goddamn time. I don't know why I continue cussing even though it just makes my job harder because I have to keep bleeping it out. But um, I just had English class today and found out, well I ended up being 15 minutes late. And then I found out it was just a workshop. So like it was just a work day to work on our essays and I have my essay done already. So I was like, um, I don't need to be here. So I left. Well, first I went to the bathroom and I heard this like eerie piano music coming from the theater and it just made my skin crawl. So I was like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna leave. So I'm leaving now and I'm going to go get noodles with Jessica and I'm really excited because I am starving. And um, yeah, let's go. Today has been extremely unfortunate. Um, so me and Jessica got to the North Market and we walked in and we got our bubble tea and everything was fine. And then I got to the pasta place where I always get my pasta. <sighs> and they, I have to get gluten-free pasta cause I have to eat gluten-free cause I have an allergy. And it costs more because, I don't know, the gluten-free pasta just costs more. But normally they don't charge me extra for it. But today there was a new lady and she charged me extra. And not only did she charge me extra, she gave me like half the pasta that I normally get. Like literally you could probably count it as like a side dish. Like it was like no pasta. So that was annoying. And then we walked upstairs and oh i got macaroons too we walked upstairs and when i was trying to pull open the door to go to the seating area um i dropped everything i dropped my fork and i dropped my bubble tea and when i dropped my bubble tea the my straw 
like slid against the door. So it was nasty. I was like, great, this is fine. But I picked everything up and I was just gonna go set it down. And then I was gonna go back downstairs and get a new straw and fork. So we were walking in the uh, sitting area upstairs and we were just walking and then I slipped. The floor was super slippery and I slipped and almost fell. And I dropped my sunglasses off my head and my keys. So that's twice that I dropped a bunch of stuff. I was like, whatever, you know what? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna have a good rest of my day. Sat all my stuff on the table, went downstairs, got a new straw, got a new fork, came upstairs and ate, and ate my tiny bit of pasta. And everything was fine. And then I went to eat my macaroons and, um, one of them was like basically melted on the inside like the you know like the icing part on the inside it was basically like liquid so that was cool didn't end up eating them and then we went and walked around for a little bit and then we came back upstairs because i had to go to the bathroom before we left and i was walking up the stairs in front of jessica and she was like casey there's a giant hole in your pants and i was like what do you mean? Like, I put them on this morning and I didn't see a hole in them. <sighs> we went to the bathroom and looked. I looked in the mirror and I'll just insert the clip right here. It's um a pretty significant hole. And I have been quite a few places today. And no one has informed me about the hole until Jessica noticed it. So, great. Had a giant hole. In my pants, no one told me. Um, I proceeded to go to the bathroom and while I was in the bathroom, you know like the toilet paper thing that's stuck to the wall and you can like pull the toilet paper out of it. Yeah, that thing fell on my head while I was going to the bathroom. So that's dope. North Market, I'm coming for you. Finna sue you. Just kidding, I don't, I, I don't have a lawyer. I don't have money for a lawyer. Anyways, that happened. Um, dropped my keys on the bathroom floor, so that was cool. And um, anything else bad happen? I look fat. There's that. That's kind of annoying. And uh, I don't know. Today has just been a pretty not good day. So I am going to change into sweats and I'm going to get in bed and I'm going to lay in bed for the rest of the day and do nothing because nothing is going right today. Also, realize, got like four shots of espresso in my coffee this morning after I was worried about having a heart attack last night. Like, what is wrong with me? Like, what am I doing? I bring these problems on myself. Like, I'm fully aware that everything that happens in my life is my pro like is my fault. I know that. Like I'm not a uh, what are those type of people called? I'll insert right here what those type of people are called that I'm talking about. I'm not one of those. Okay. I understand that everything that happens is my doing. But you know what? It still sucks. Like. <laughs> Like, I make my life bad, and then I complain about it because it's bad. And I'm going to continue doing that for the rest of my life. And people keep commenting on my channel. Stop being so negative. <laughs> Shut up, okay? I'm a negative person because my life sucks, okay? When you have a horrible life, then come to me and tell me that you don't complain, all right? Today is not good. I, uh, maybe I should just stop. Do you, is this, the, this isn't a good video. I need, uh, I'm gonna go.